Hi, this is Smartport TV, this time from Rostock, from the University of Rostock, because this is the place where the huge container vessels are tested in the wind tunnel for the Hamburg Port Authority. I accompanied a delegation of experts from the Hamburg Port Authority to Rostock. The wind tunnel tests will produce sample data. By analyzing this data, they want to optimize processes, for example, docking maneuvers carried out by giant container ships. Our project is looking at how to meet the challenges of adapting the docking piles, the Fingwerder Fehler, at the Airbus terminal in Hamburg for the next generation of shipping. We're looking at how we can optimize our mooring procedures. So, do we need more or less hawser at the bow or the stern? Do we need to position the ships further forwards or further back at the Fingwerder Fehler? It's about optimizing the mooring lines and mooring points. The University of Rostock is working closely with the Fraunhofer Institute for Production Technology and Automization. Before the wind tunnel test, let's take a look at their modeling skills. The challenge here was to build a model a bit like a Lego set, so that we can create replicas of various ships using a kit, with different structural elements and different loads and containers, and that can then be put on a single design hull. So, now we're off to the wind tunnel. When it comes to mooring big container ships, a decisive factor is windage and how wind affects the ship. Can you explain that to us using this model? If you take this whole area, you can be looking at up to 18,000 square meters. 400 meters long, 18,000 square meters. So that creates an incredible force. What we're trying to do is harness that force and optimize it using digital analysis. And the idea is to create a mooring program for the port of Hamburg, so that the pilots and the nautical center, who already have a lot of technology, will be able to decide how to berth container ships even better, what they'll need to moor it. In the simulation now, we have hurricane fourth winds blowing through the port of Hamburg. At these wind speeds, you're looking at twice hurricane force. 60 meters a second. That's 240 kilometers an hour. So that's about twice force 12. So how fast will you be able to implement the analyzed data that you've collected here, in the port of Hamburg? Well, parallel to the wind tunnel, we now also have a special mooring program. And we need data for that program. And we also input data from the German Weather Service, wind models and other data sources, so that we can produce reliable results by the end of the year. That was my journey to the wind tunnel in Rostock. See you next time. Thanks for watching us. And as we say in Hamburg, tschüss.